Welcome to the Two Crafty Stitches. This is episode two, April 12th, uh, 2015. Um, I am Sandy, also known as Knits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75 I hope everybody has been having a great two weeks. Um, I know uh, the last two weeks I have not really done too much. Neither have I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just seems like working. Let, let's start a podcast and not do anything for two weeks. <laughs> I'm good with that. Um, so, and, it's, and it's what? A bi-weekly podcast. So, yeah, you would think we'd have more time to do stuff in between, but. No, not really. Life. Um, so <laughs> this last two weeks, I don't have anything new, uh, items that I've acquired, but next week I am going to be up in Atlanta. So I'm hoping to, uh, hit some Asian? shops up. Yeah. <laughs> Hot Atlanta. <laughs> it's going to be, uh, I'm going to be there for training for work. So we'll see how much time I have. Yes. But. I know, Kelly, you've, uh... I have a few some, things. Yeah. Not necessarily new, new. but well, one of them is, kind of. I got the, um, the new issue of Spinoff, which has been rattling around in my car, which is why it's all new. But, <laughs> anyway, um, I had time to glance through it today. Because <laughs> that's how prepared I am. Um, and it's got a really interesting... Well, it's always, they always have interesting articles. But it's got a really interesting, um, thing about... There's like some unique wheels, which um, I thought was pretty cool. Like that people either made or have in their collection. Like there's like a spider web one. There's all sorts of different things. Um, but it's a really good publication. Um, I think I don't get it every single time it comes out. I just pick it up every once in a while when I look at it and I go, oh, that could apply to me. And I pick it up then. So <laughs> I do have a um, subscription to Ply which you can't see because of the sun because we're in Florida and the sun, she burns. Um, <laughs> we have a window right across from us to provide lighting and apparently it's too bright to show my magazine. But anyway, um, but this is their spring issue and I have gotten their magazine since they're on issue eight. I've gotten it since issue one and I really enjoy it. Again, good articles, nice reading material you know, for when you have some downtime to sit and read about sheep and spinning. <laughs> and rabbits. And that's not a rabbit. You said this last time. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a Lester. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ears are very rabbitish. She thinks that's a rabbit. See, it's rabbit. It's ears. not a rabbit. <laughs> what a goodness. And Sandy's favorite picture, the little dollhouse recreation of someone's spinning studio. And isn't there a cat in there too? I think there are two cats. Oh yeah, there's two there's cats. two cats in there. Yes. I think that's so. awesome. Yes. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about uh kind of goes with something that I'm gonna show off later as one of my finished objects. But well, yeah, one of my fin I do have two, but one of them's like half of whatever. Um <laughs> but anyway, um I had some some um spinning that I've been doing this past week and I needed to um Set the twist. Yes. Set the twist. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I have this stuff that is from Tuft Woolens. Um, this is actually one of their bath bars because my other one's open and whatever, but, um, it's, um, it's a soap and you use it kind of to soak things in this one, obviously you use to clean your body, but <laughs> the other one is, um, you just kind of lather it up under running water. And then when you put your stuff in, it makes it smell nice. And this one is juicy orange and ginger and we'll link the website in the show notes i they this, it was the first time using this scent actually because um i ordered it a while ago and they sent me a little sample and it goes for a long time like the sample was like a sliver of a bar of soap but it lasts you know as long as you pull it out and let it dry properly it lasts a very long time um when you use it so now um, when i first got it and opened the package i was like whoa because it was, you know, very powerful in scent, but, um, but I like the scent, so. Now, is this like, um, soap where you don't have to rinse it, or do uh, you have to rinse it? I don't rinse it, but <laughs> <laughs> you might need to, but I don't, because, I don't know, it's sitting in water. It's not like it's all lathering up and whatever, you know, I mean, it just kind of, I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to rinse it. I don't, probably someone's going to be like, yeah, you're supposed to rinse it, stupid, but, um. <laughs> 
but I've washed like, you know, in the sample, I've washed socks and other things in it, just kind of like with the soap where I haven't rinsed it. So I could be doing it wrong, but it works for me. Perfect. <laughs> um, I did see in one of my emails of, uh, I don't know if it was, you know, knitting daily or interweave knits or their spinning section or some email somewhere some email that from was in someone my email <laughs> within the last two weeks but it had a good um uh reference i think it was uh going to be in a magazine about growing your stash and cultivating it and growing your stash yes that's what i need to be doing right now adding more well for the rest of us because <laughs> like when i started i was not privy to the world of online uh, shopping or even local yarn stores. Well, it's because online shopping wasn't really around. No. The way it is now. That makes us sound really old. <laughs> Back in my day. I had to walk uphill both ways. In the snow in Florida. <laughs> um, to go to oh, Walmart. Oh, the hilly, hilly streets yes. and snow, snow filled, you know, sidewalks of Florida. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> my mom was a diehard, you know, red heart crocheter so growing up i'm like oh that's yarn i thought that was all yarn unfortunately but uh when i got back into um the craft a few years ago um all the other possibilities were opened up to me so the world of yarn yes <laughs> And I, I feel was like there's very excited. Right now. There's like some music that you play, starting out with some like angels. <laughs> some music playing and yes. big Broadway dance number coming up. And Welcome then I found the out world about the yarn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Kind of, but with yarn. I do like the munchkins, so. <laughs> yeah. But um, that article pretty much uh, was talking about making your stash work for you so you get out all the stuff that you don't want and then you know work on the stuff that you do want so for example so you get out all the stuff you don't want what do you do with it you just you can donate it oh you can use it you get rid of all the yeah. stuff you, don't you, want. you get it out of the stash <laughs> i thought you meant like get it out like pull it out and look at it and go, i yes. don't want this i would rather use this other stuff <laughs> So, like, for me, I have a lot of old yarn that has been given to me, and it is the, like, 1970s acrylic that can go through the nu nuclear, uh, you know, holocaust. Crunchy, too. Yes. So, <laughs> I've been trying to get rid of it, but it just seems to be multiplying. I, I swear it's actually rabbits in there, but it's not acrylic. So, how are you trying to get rid of it? Well, uh, you know, I gave a whole bunch to Mike. And well, then yeah. I'm also not just trying to give it a third member of our knitting group. Yes. Uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm also trying to use some of it up so yeah, I can have it as gifts um, for a lot of the non-knitters like um, my dad. It's really good for a uh, present for him for like a blanket because it will wear very oh, the hard. the snowflake blanket. Yes, a snowflake blanket. Yes. So I've been, um, for the last few years, um, having some white, like off-white squares and then um, those are every other one. And the ones in between them are off-white with like a color or a variegated snowflake. And that's knitted up. Yes. And then I have my um, hexagon flat blanket all in worsted weight. Yes. And those are just going to be You just solid. started that though. I did. I started yes. this, uh, like, two months ago. Yeah. So it's not very far along, and... Has it been two months? I don't remember when I started it. Time yeah. is flying. I know. It's, like, mid-April. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Because it's the I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know. Yeah. I looked at the calendar the other day. I was like, whoa! I'm in the middle of April. <laughs> so. Yeah, but it's all about making your stash work for you. Mm -hmm. So if only I could get it to knit itself, then it truly would work for me. Well, you know, they do have those needles over in uh, <laughs> Universal Studios. I know, I took video of them. <laughs> they weren't doing a very good job, though. There were some drop stitches, it looked like, or like they just kept going around and over and over and weren't. Like, there was no progress happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
tell. They give the illusion of knitting, but. <laughs> well, um, works in progress. Yes. Um, I'm not bringing all of my works in progress because. Last time she brought a box to my house. I did. It wasn't a huge box. But it was mm -hmm. the large box that's a fabric one from like Walmart that I'm using to store stuff in for all my fiber and my projects. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to bring and yeah. It all went in the box. <laughs> just one. Now I just have my huge bag that you know it's about the same size as the box. It is about the same size. Yes. So this is a bag that Sandy made, what, several years ago. Yeah, it's been like three or four. To, because we were going to the Renaissance Festival, and it was, look, I have like an armrest here. It's really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we can get one for you next time. Okay. Um, the, we, <laughs> we were going to the Renaissance Festival, and we only go to the Renaissance Festival if they're doing the Highland Games. I don't know why, but because for some reason, I like it's tradition. Highland Games. And yes. kilts and... Yes. So, and they have two weekends of Highland Games. So there's usually, we pick, we didn't make it this year, um, but we don't go every single year just because a lot of the shows tend to be the same thing year after year. And it gets to the point where you can get up on the stage with them and say their lines. Um, that might have happened, right? <laughs> no, no, but you were volunteered to get up on stage for something. A few times. Yes. Um, and then I laughed at her, and the next time I went, I got had to get up on stage. But anyway. To do the same thing. To do the same thing. And I was like, oh, gee, I already don't remember what's going to happen. But anyway, <laughs> because it was like two weeks later. But anyway, so she made this bag, and it was going to be the bag she was going to carry around with her. And she made it because it's got like a, what, Celtic, Celtic knot design. on it or Celtic now, design. Yeah, before I show it, um, it's felted. She's like, I'm going to take this bag around with me. I'm going to make it. And this is going to be what I put all my stuff in when we're walking around. Yeah. So I like the pattern. Yes. Um, and it's gray. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to keep up with my patterns, it's made out of wool or um, <laughs> patterns, classic wool. <laughs> it's really funny because like the beginning of this podcast, you're like, I just heard this email about all of the indie dyers and blah, blah, blah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to. You know, it's, I just wanted I something gray. And so <laughs> it's felted. And when I was, um, I, I'm preparing you guys because when I felt it, I'm like, okay, so this is really big and it's going to get really it small. It was really, really big. Yes. Well, it is, <laughs> you know, pretty big. And I, I lined it and I could like fit a few small babies in here, just carry them around. <laughs> I was gonna say I could fit like my dog in there and she could like run and chase a ball. Okay, I, I was gonna say you can fit like five of your dogs in there. I could not fit my dog in here though. So there no. we go. But still but, So then she had to carry this giant bag with Did her. I bring this? You did. The oh. first year. The year that you made it, you did bring it. Because I was and so determined. Like, this bag is so big and heavy like all day. The yes. only thing that felt it to the size that I thought it would was the handles, and so which are really this huge sweet. bag. And the you, handles are so small. And when you put stuff in the bag, it gets like really, really heavy yes. because it has tiny little spaghetti strap handles. But <laughs> the design is on both sides. It was cabled, and then you went around it with a darker color. And yes. I mean, it is a nice bag. Yes. So it's just really big. it has gone to my carry all knitting bag and I might actually take it up to Atlanta with me oh. for I don't know my, my toiletries and knitting because <laughs> like going to really really hot city and everything I think I'll take a wool bag with me <laughs> <laughs> a giant wool bag well, I'm not going to be taking it gonna be, you're driving though right yes, you're I'm, not, I'm okay. driving so I was going to say I can and see I'm, you trying to take it on the plane and they're like um this won't fit in the carry all <laughs> bag <laughs> and you sorry. already have a backpack it fit yes you have to check that. And I also I have my purse, which is also gray. Yes. So I won't be carrying this around the entire time. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's neither here nor there. So um, work, Works in progress. <laughs> yes. That's where we were. I don't know how we got on that tangent. But I'm still working on uh, my plain socks because um, I haven't had a lot of time to work on them. I do have some finished stuff that uh, I'll show you later on. Um, it'll be a big reveal. Yes. I am working on 
picked my all for one flame hat, which I don't know how many times I had to recast it on after doing the I don't know how many ribbon. times I had to try it on. I know <laughs> last week it was three times and I think I did it at least two more times at home. <laughs> um, but I'm actually like a few inches into it and I just finished with the dark green. So now I just have the black and the light green. And it's got flames yes. now. It, it's getting the flames. It's uh, halfway up the flames. So it's coming along nicely. I know I keep on getting asked how the progress of this is going because I've been working on other stuff. Because the cast on has just been making me very angry. And because we're in Florida and it's April. Well, that's also made from... And it's like 90 yeah. degrees outside. Almost. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a, for uh, the guy for winter. And as so I. So you um, have plenty of time. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> we only get like two weeks of cold weather. Yeah, and we've already if passed that. it. So, <laughs> I don't know. So, um, uh, that's made out of the Red Heart, um, the soft, I believe, right? Soft yarns? Maybe. Yeah. And, um, uh, it is the all for one I this cap. email. Yeah, it's like indie dyers, blah blah blah. <laughs> Pat, so far, I'm using patterns and red heart. Not that there's anything wrong with those. They are very good utility yarns. I'm just exactly, and that's really what funny. it is. It's going to be a really hearty hat because I've made <laughs> two for Josh because he's lost one, and then I found it like two months after I made it, and it's washable, very washable, and he, and he uses it for skydiving. So, yes. um, and. I have been working on um, my spinning on the Turkish wheel that I started. Turkish spindle. Or, maybe? Yes, Turkish spindle. Sorry, I started uh, not last weekend, but the sometime during the week before. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And lot. I have gotten about a quarter of the way through uh, the four ounces, and it is the Greenwoods Fiberworks Calypso. Now, how are you spinning this? Just like, are you just going to, did you just divide it in half and you're just spinning it? And oh, then you're gonna, okay. Or, I was about to say, I'm on the doing the spindle. dropping it and letting it spin and pulling it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it is, uh, being, uh, it's going to be a two ply fractal. Oh, okay. So I'm on the small, um, repeats. See, once you yes. start doing fractal spinning. You look and you're like, oh, fractal spinning. Well, because it's all the colors now. Yes. Now my dog is a puppy, and uh oh, and I have a cat. Her behemoth of a dog. Yes, he's eighty pounds now, and he's eight months old. And every time I get like knitting or something or spinning out, and I leave the room, and he's like, "Oh, you're not uh, paying attention to me." So I'll either see the spindle over there, or the whole like bit of fiber, and he's laying on it, and then a little bit's in his mouth. Well, that part's already gone past. But then apparently this morning I was informed that the cat got um, a hold of my yarn and I'm assuming it's the hat as well as this because um, the ball was still intact but as you can see part of it has been um, <laughs> played with. So I'm gonna draft it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna work that in. Yeah. 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 You'll be able to, though. Yeah. This is not the first time, and it's not the last time. That's why but, all um, of my stuff is not out anywhere near Well, it was animal. in my bag. I just didn't zip this one up, so. All my stuff is in bags that zip. Well, it zips. <laughs> I was just too lazy. This is my awesome Ikea bag. So. Yes. Which I like need it to go to Ikea our... again. Yes, because when they get I... that card in stock again, we're going. Yeah, I would need to get some, um... Unless you're in Atlanta, and then I'm going without you. No. <laughs> no. I refuse. <laughs> what are you going to do? How are you going to stop me? <laughs> I'll, I'll have Klaus come over. Okay. Yes. He'll block the door. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, you can't go. 
That's my Klaus voice. Because my dog, not only being really big, he kind of looks dopey. <laughs> it's the ears, because he's a German Shepherd bloodhound. So <laughs> This is close. <laughs> you can't go to Ikea. Sandy's not here. <laughs> what? You're going to get me some meatballs? Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll do anything for food. <laughs> was, was that all your stuff? Yes. I, that's all my works in progress that I brought. I didn't bring any blankets this time. So oh, what about the, on the list? Your or is that a finished thing? Oh, that's a finished thing. I put oh. it on the wrong thing. Okay. Oh, never mind. Yeah. So we'll get to that later. Yeah. So for me, um, and this is not on our list that we are handy dandy <laughs> list because I forgot about it. But this is my what probably my podcast recording socks. Yeah, your plain that socks. I started last time we recorded and haven't touched until today. So I have the toe done. I have the beginnings of a foot it's not that exciting and whatever and it's with the um nitpicks felici i guess that's how you say it i don't know um and it's in the building blocks colorway and i can't figure out which way the camera is oh there we go um <laughs> it's, 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 it's color. <laughs> hi i'm klaus <laughs> So, so I've been keeping that, and I thought I'd also give a shout out to my bags that I've got. So today, I've been keeping that in my Jessalu, um, the Truvian Dalek bag that I really cannot find <laughs> this camera today. You would, you know, okay. Anyway, um, it's a cute little bag. I like it. Sandy gave it to me. Was it my birthday? Is that the one that I gave you for my birthday or Christmas? One of the two. I don't know. Several years ago. Yeah. Um, and it's really cute, and um, I guess, and I didn't tell you this ahead of time, but I guess we'll link that in the show notes. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, her shop. Get her some, you know. Yeah, because she, she was, she, uh, is she the one that does the, that does, I think, she doesn't want, like, an antique sewing machine, I think I saw something, like, when she sews them. I don't know. I think she might be the one, but I could be wrong. Honestly, I don't know. I was just drooling over the I think that the, the name of this stuff. episode needs to be, I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Episode two. I could be wrong, but dot, dot, <laughs> dot, because that's what I've said this whole time. Uh, so another thing that I have that's in progress, um, I have a little spinning. Uh, well, actually, I do have a lot of spinning in progress, but I didn't bring the, um, well, I lied. The, um, I could be wrong and I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, aren't you glad you're watching this? Um, so, so on the, don't know. on the, on <laughs> the, People out there can be like, I don't know. She she lies. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I don't know. Um, anyway, on the Vespera that I showed last time, the Melted Nerds, but I didn't really get much done on that because I used I I had a whole bobbin done and I pulled it off and then I used it for flying this week for my finished object. Um, so I haven't done the second two ounces. That'll get done eventually. Um, but anyway, so I do have my um, my Turkish spindle. That is from Turtle Turtle Maid. Yes, yes. Turtle Maid. I was going to say Turtle something. I don't know, but Turtle Maid. Both Turtle Maid. Well, yes, yeah. because we got them at the same time. Because you got it. Because I ordered them. But anyway, so this is. Oh, so the spindle is a three D printed spindle, and yes. I think your shaft is glow, glow in, the in the dark. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I don't have the name of what this fiber is, but <laughs> I think it's downstairs. But it's from Moon Rover. Moon Rover yarns. Um. And I think it's it's Polworth. I think I put that on there. It's Polworth, and it's one of her. Do it's a Doctor Who color. I don't remember what exactly. Doctor Who Polworth. But I don't. Remember, I don't think it was called Doctor Who. I don't remember what it was called, honestly. Um, I'll find out and tell Sandy, and she can post it later, because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> you just post my errata and <laughs> corrections. But anyway, um, but if you noticed on Sandy's, where's yours again? We have learned on our Turkish because I I like the bottom whirl. When I spin, I started with the top whirl. Don't really dig it. I prefer the bottom whirl. But anyway, oh. so so we, so we we figured out or we saw on a website how to when you're wrapping it on how to make it look awesome. And uh, you can't really see mine because of the colors, but you can see it on Sandy's and how like awesome it looks in the little turtle that it makes when you wrap it around. So just thought we'd show that off. Um, but anyway, I haven't really done much of that because I've been using the wheel. But this is in another one of my bags, which is from Fat Squirrel. Yes, from Fat Squirrel. And it is it is appropriately in a Doctor Who Companions bag. The fabric <laughs> has all of the companions in it. 
And I like this bag. I like the size. It's really good, like, obviously for spinning stuff. So Yeah, that's about the size of my Ikea one. Yes. And let me just apologize. I am noticing my chair is kind of squeaky. Oh, so Sorry. Yeah. Well, no, it's sorry then. you have the squeaky chair. Well, <laughs> I fidget a lot. So, so, I guess that means I have to take that chair next time. <laughs> we're, we're taking turns in the next chair. I have the nice Ikea chair, desk chair, and... The other thing is all about Ikea. I know. Anyway, so the final thing I'm working on, I think this is it. Yes. Um, I have not a whole lot done, but I started the toe of my second (laughs) (laughs) in mustache yarns, the um, sesame colorway. And um, (laughs) what? I just realized the bag and the yarn. And- I know. And look, I have it in my Kermit the Frog bag, which I made myself. So I don't have an Etsy shop to, like, advertise. But anyway, so <laughs> it's Sesame Tree. It's Kermit the Frog. It's awesome. Um, but anyway, really matchy, matchy. I haven't really gotten that far. Anyway, so because I just kind of started that last night. <laughs> so moving on. We have our finished, our finished objects. objects. Did you like want to go because since I just talked about, so I finished the first yes. sock, and I have a confession to make. So when I do these socks, the skew socks, I usually do not Kitchener them or weave in the ends until both the socks are done. But when I looked at the show notes that Sandy sent me in our little Google Doc, <laughs> it was like finished object one sock, yes. and I was like, well, technically it's not done because I hadn't woven in the ends <laughs> and I hadn't done the Kitchener on the little heel. So last night I sat down and did all that. So it actually is a finished object. And that's Good. and then I started the second one. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, of course, now that I put that away, I don't know if you noticed, <gasps> they're going to match. I know. Okay, that makes me happy. I know it does. <laughs> so anyway, so this is my first, um, the first sock. And again, yes. And there's the other side. So that is one of my finished objects. And then my second finished object is the um, fiber I was talking about last time, which was the Three Waters Farm fiber in the Burnished Sunset colorway, which is a club colorway um, that I did as a fractal to ply. Um, (laughs) uh, I finished it and it actually was soaking yesterday, which is why I had my little soap thing out. But anyway, so here it is. I got... Um, 478 yards, um, but I haven't checked the thickness on it yet. I'll do that in a second. Um, anyway, so it's all squishy and pretty and I like it and I have no idea what I'm going to make with it, but it'll probably be like a small shawl or something because that's kind of what I end up doing. But I haven't used a lot of my hand spun. I think I've only made like one thing for my hand spun. So, because I think I keep waiting for my hand spun to be perfect. That's it's not going to be perfect because I'm not a perfect person. Not just that, but the more you spin and you guys will see when she's finished. Oh, well, you can go on. I'm just checking my wraps oh. per inch on my little I spin it. Is that what it is? It's an app on the iPhone for spinners. And, and I'll finish tinkling back because I wasn't paying attention and I'm in the yellow part and I... So this is really one. thrilling for you guys at home, I'm sure. <laughs> We're sitting here going, hmm, what is this? So um, before I get to my hand spun finish object, I finished both of my skew socks in the blues. And um, I'm only going to show you one because it's on the nice uh, sock blocker. Because I think that when it's off the sock blocker, it looks a little bit more confusing, at least for me. So I think it's, I'm going to butt in for a second. So it's somewhere between a heavy fingering to a light sport because it's not like totally even. So I'll just have to find a pattern for it. No, you can do what I did. Yes, I could. And then we could be even more matchy matchy. Yes. Yes. Because Oh, and isn't it about the same colors too? It is because this is the this is the fiber that I got, and then 
you saw some online or something and you were like, that looks really pretty. And I was like, yes. that looks very much like the fiber that I just got. And yes. So I made a diagonal cowl and um, it is a pattern that was on Ravelry. And it's not showing up on your thing because I don't think my thing went over to it. Oh, sorry. Um, but it is. Maybe I had to refresh it. Oh, well. No, I don't know if mine connected to the oh. internet. Okay. Um, the pattern is, I think it's like diagonal cowl. No, that's not the name. <laughs> it has Daniel in it. It's like diagonal Daniel cowl. Or, I don't know. It's, um, I'll link it because <laughs> that's what we're doing. Um, but I have like 200 and some uh, yards it's of uh, heavy fingering. And so as you guys can see, it made it very nice and diagonally. I like it. Now, if you guys remember, um, I ran out of uh, some of the yarn, the small bit of um, the stripe. So I had the medium and then the large because this is a uh, three ply. So... This part is chain plied, and this is the longer stripes. And I kind of like that all striped up. Yeah. And then I went into just a normal fractal. Which is like a subtle bit. striping. Yes. And then at the very end, which is right here, um, you can't really tell. It still looks kind of like the fractal, but those were the smaller, I guess, medium stripes. Now, how many yards did this project called for um well you can do it how many ever you want but well, I, I had like, like to be down to my knees no this is like <laughs> 200 yards oh okay and i was pretty much down to it but i just kept on going until i would think that i would have enough mm -hmm. but i might have um, made a small mistake because i was wanting to wear this to work to show one of my co-workers on friday and that did not happen. Oh, that's right, because you do work in an iceberg office. Okay. Yes, yeah, like, it's, it's hot freezing hot. in my office. <laughs> and they just moved me a little bit ago, so I'm right at the window, which has a nice view of the freeway. But there's also a vent right above me mm -hmm. that's like 30 degree air, I swear, that is blowing all the time. I have a space heater that's like cranked up. Okay, I don't have a space heater because I don't know if they're official. But my fan is cranked up to high and warm pretty much the entire time I'm there. And sometimes that's even with me and a jacket. But um, Thursday night, I was finishing it right before I went to bed. And I uh, was about to bind off. And then I'm thinking, how is it going to, like, match up? Because I wasn't looking at the notes. I was just going off my, uh, mm -hmm. my head. And then I started thinking, wait, there was a third section to the notes for finishing. Uh -oh. uh, yeah, so I had to, like, tink back, like, 15 oh, no. rows. And then um, the last, like, 15 rows is all decreasing. So it, it wasn't too long, but I did that on Friday instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it well, got it's done. very nice, and it matches your shirt. It does. Which we're wearing our Tampa Bay Lightning shirts today. Yes. Because the bolts are in the playoffs, which are starting Thursday, I think. Yes. Yes. We just uh, played last night uh, against the Bruins, yes. Boston Bruins, and we won. Yes. So Lightning. I've only been to one Lightning game. I've I'm gone boring. to a few. Because I was promised fights, and there were no fights. <laughs> okay, you missed we out went on, like, the, a bad the like... Night. The possible, like, th there was some, like, close encounters. And yeah, but there was no fight. No, I, there, a lot, you know. You would have missed it even if there was one. You need to see, like, fists in the air. There were. You just didn't see it. No, there were The not. refs weren't allowing contact. Ugh. So. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. I enjoyed it. I watched some of, when they were in the playoffs last time, I watched some of the games. And when they were up for, I think, the Stanley Cup. Mm hmm I watched some of those games. Like, on the television, not in person. I, I like going in there. Well, I mean, it was, yeah. it was okay. And then... I'm a baseball person, sorry. <laughs> I go to baseball games with my work. Yes. And it's like one time, and I, I normally go to bring baseball her. games with her work, too. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the hockey games with my I work. I do. Yeah, so... <laughs> and, I mean, I don't mind the baseball, but I can't just sit at home and watch it. Oh, see, I do a lot of it's, knitting during baseball when I'm watching it. But I can't knit if I'm there. 
because if I'm in this in the stadium, you know, at Tropicana Field, sitting there in their 72 degree cold airness, because it's really cold when you sit in the cheap seats, because you're right under the air conditioning. <laughs> um, if I start knitting, then the team loses. So. And if I knit, they win. <laughs> yeah. So. I so I knit. get a whole like two hours worth. We're like. There was one game, I think, um, the last one we went to with your work, that they were behind or something, and, they, and then Sandy started knitting, and they started winning. We're like, don't stop knitting! And Sandy's like, I have to go get a refill on my drink or something. We're like, no, you can't. Yeah, didn't you somebody have to bring stay me here. a refill on I think my drink? so. Yeah. Because we're like, keep knitting. You yes, can't stop. Um, <laughs> oh, I was uh, knitting Room with a View, I think. The pink socks. Yes. I, yes. I, yeah. They were pink. Yes, they were. And they were pink with um a bit like little bits of green in it. It's on my Ravelry page. Yes. I thought it was adorable. And uh one of my coworkers, Carla, has informed me that she will take any of those socks off of my hands. <laughs> so Yes. So now we're at the portion part of our show where we talk about what we are watching or reading. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just yesterday caught up on the most recent episode of Broadchurch because I had homework to do this week and I had a whole bunch of meetings and didn't have time for TV or anything else. And I had to do a lot of my homework yesterday, which I don't like waiting until the last minute to do it, but that's what had to happen this time. Cause I had to write like two essays this week and I got one of them, one of them was due Wednesday. I got that one done. The other one was due last night at midnight. Um, so I got all of that stuff done, and then I rewarded myself by watching the most recent episode of Broad Church. Have you watched the most recent one? I Probably caught not. up on the entire season so far. Okay. Well, so that was I, like I watched the most recent episode. 206, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yes. I caught up. Yes. And I caught up all, like, within two nights. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I think, I th I think the other day I had to catch up on, like, <laughs> caught up on, like, three episodes or something. Maybe that was last weekend. Um, but yeah, so I'm caught up on that. And then last night after I finished that, I started watching on Netflix, Marvel's Daredevil. And I got through episode one and I really liked it. Um, I think there's like 13 episodes and I do know some of my friends and people that I'm friends with on Facebook and everything are posting that they watched the whole season. It came, it came out, um, cause on Netflix, they don't, it's not like they do a season, like every week you get a new episode. It's like, oh here, we just made this new show. Here's every single episode all at one time. Bam. And so they did that on Friday. And I do know some people who binge watched it and watched all 13 episodes. I only watched one. I'm probably not going to sit down and binge watch them because I just don't have the time to watch like 13 hours of television at one time. Um, because I work and I go to school and something has to give. And so I really did enjoy the first episode. Um, I'm looking forward to the rest of it, but I'm going to be taking my time through it. I'm not going to sit down and try and watch them. That doesn't mean though that like I might take my time and watch one night, like <laughs> one each night instead of like all at once. But um I might I'll probably be done by the series with the series by the, or you know with the season um probably by the next time I record in two weeks because there's only 13 episodes. So it was very violent though. Like very like And you're not like a violent I, I know. Type. I know. That's, but I like Daredevil, more though. He's one of the superhero guys that I like, though. Um, I'm not really a big a Marvel fan. I'm more of a DC fan, like Batgirl. <laughs> and and my Doctor Who comic books that are not Marvel or DC. I was about to say, I didn't think Doctor <laughs> Who was no, Marvel. No, but, but Marvel does have Star Wars comic books now, and I do like those. Um, but I'm not, like, a big Marvel fan, usually. So for me to, like, you know, I think Daredevil's probably the only real one. Like, I, we own the Avengers movie, I think both of them maybe, or one of them. I don't know how many have been out. One? I, I don't even know. I haven't watched them. I'm way far behind on my Marvel mo movie watching. I haven't seen either of the Captain Americas. I haven't seen what? either of the Thors. What? I, I haven't even seen them. I saw like the first <laughs> Iron Man and that, there's like two others I haven't watched. I haven't seen the Iron Man. So, yeah. So I'm kind of behind on that, but I like Daredevil. Now, I'm not a huge comic book person. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I, I don't know why. I, I don't know. But I I like the, the premise and I like the movies. 
Yeah. It's well, I don't like sit down and read, you know, except for Batgirl and that type of stuff. But and I don't Doctor Who, you sit down and Doctor reading. Who, but those are two. And like the and the and the Star Wars and the Princess Leia Star Wars one. But that's only four. It's only that's four. Not. It was only two, no, it's only four. <laughs> but there's only two more that I like that I haven't said. <laughs> But, but I like the movies, though. I think I like the Marvel movies of the ones that I've seen. I also have not seen the new Spider-Man movies either, like the Amazing Spider-Man. Actually, yeah. I take that back. I saw half of the first, or I saw, like, parts of the first one. And we actually, we own those, too, and I haven't sat down to watch them. That's okay. I haven't seen the Spider-Mans. I don't even know. I saw all I've the old them. ones, like, with Tobey Maguire. I saw all of those. Yeah. But I haven't really seen the new ones with the new guy who I don't know even who is. <laughs> he's British that's all I know but he doesn't have a British accent in Spider-Man and the Daredevil guy's British too but he doesn't he has <laughs> <a weird accent. laughs> no I'm gonna let all of you guys on a little well known secret about me I don't know anybody like anybody that is in a movie you can tell me the name I I cannot you put have the to, reference to yeah. the name to the face. Yeah. To be with Sandy and hang out with her and stuff and you want to talk about like pop culture, you basically either have to have IMDb on your phone or you have to be like a human version of IMDb. Um, the internet movie database, in case you're yes. wondering. But, <laughs> but anyway, because you'll be like, oh, you know, so-and-so who was in this movie. And she's like, who are you talking about? And you have to list every single thing. And they're like, they have you seen that movie? In. Yeah, but I don't remember that person. And then you have to list every single movie that they've ever been in in order for her to be like, oh, it's like Mandy Patinkin. It's like, <laughs> I just found out just who found out he was a guy. from Criminal Minds. Yes. But I was like, he's, he was in Princess Bride, and he was in this and that, and so on and so forth. And then she's like, oh, I think I know who that is. Yeah. Because I saw his name on the credits one time, or at the beginning of the and show. And she thought he was a woman. Mandy. I had a friend <laughs> growing up named Mandy. I, I have a cousin named Mandy, but, you know, still. Ugh. Anyway. I, I'm a horrible person. So, um... Not just that, but in between seasons, like with the Broad Church uh, last uh, weekend, I watched like, Wait, the is first this episode. The same person, yeah, I was like the first season. Is, are these the same characters? Because watching the Broad Church and then, oh, Grace, and then Grace Point, Point. yeah, that's and kind of then Broad up. Church again, yeah, I got really confused. I'm like, I don't remember the lady with really short hair. It's really curly. Wasn't she like a blonde? But no, it's the same characters. Like, the main character? Yes. Like, Ellie? Yes. <laughs> I thought that she was a different person wow. because, yeah. Well, and then they also renewed it for a third season. Really? Yes. I don't know oh. what they're going to do with the third season, but I guess we'll have to wait. Because we still have, I think, four more episodes left over here to watch um, of season two. Because I know, I think it was on in February, maybe, over in the UK. So they already have seen all of season two. And we just started it, like, Six weeks ago. Yeah, because we're on episode six. Well, yes. <laughs> just finished it. <laughs> so excited. Yes. And then, so anyway. Uh, Game of Thrones is on tonight. Yes, Game of Thrones comes on tonight. I will probably be watching it at some point later this week just because some shows, like like Rogers even, they're on late at night when I go to bed. Yeah, I will probably be asleep so I can get to Lampa tomorrow. Yes. But, uh. So you listened to a book this week. Yes, I. So, I've um, had some windshield time, so I s finished one book, and not only do I go to Netflix and they say, hey, you need to watch this, so I will. Which and is how she watched Battlestar Galactica. Be I'm, yeah. I'm not finished with that yet, I'm because they said, hey, you need to watch uh, Caprica. Battlestar Galactica. So, <laughs> I watched Caprica, and then they're like, you need to watch Battlestar Galactica. I'm like, okay, I'll watch it. <laughs> and I just go in blindly. And it's it's more fun that way. You never mm -hmm. know what you're going to get. So BuzzFeed. Life is like a box of chocolates, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so BuzzFeed um, uh, came out, and it was on, like, my Facebook or in my email. I don't remember one of those things. And it says, books you must read. And so I went through, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so one of the books, it was, um, I, I got, uh, his, uh, um, what is it? It's five books. So. Although it yeah. says it's a trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Because there's like the prequel and then they like add ones around. But yeah, so his book set, um, it's uh, Philip Pullman. And so I listened to the first one and I, I think it was only like a few hours long. I think it was relatively short. Um, and I believe the name was uh, Once Upon a Time in the North. Now, I went into this not really oh, knowing Winter's what I was coming. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what I was getting into with this. So when I was uh, um, listening, yeah, my phone's vibrating. I know that's why I turned mine on silent before we started. I well, said I my phone on silent. I, I, I just keep it on vibrate in case it's something super important. Well, obviously it must be super important since you're like, oh, my phone's ringing. Yeah. I'll, I'll get back to him. Yes. So anyways, so I went into it not really knowing what I was going into. And it was like about this guy who, I don't know which time period they're in. I got a little confused with that. Um, it sounds like a really good book. <laughs> it actually wasn't bad. I'm going to uh, go through the rest of the books. Um, but he's in a hot air balloon and he has like a demon. I think it's a rabbit that's his companion and apparently everybody in the time period has a demon so and, and it's a rabbit yeah his is a rabbit so the one guy the bad guy is like a snake and somebody else i think was a butterfly and if you like your demon gets hurt then you feel it because you're like connected i i don't know to a rabbit to a demon rabbit so <laughs> <laughs> like one of the monty python rabbits no. no, because uh, do you know the Monty Python? Yes, we watched, watched it. it. Oh, that's right. And I watched it with Josh. Yes, but no, it, it was like <laughs> a nice death. one, not a murderous one. It's a nice demon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he goes to you know some place in the north, and he runs out of a uh, hot air balloon gas, and you know, I'm taking up... that this happened once upon a time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It ends up helping somebody out, and then there's, like, polar bears that talk, and uh, before this, we were talking about this, and I was informing her just so she wouldn't have this, like, look of shock, like, what are you talking about? But she about? didn't tell me about the demon rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot, but that, that We discussed the polar bears, because I was yes. like, isn't that a movie, or wasn't there a movie? Which I don't think Which I've there. seen. Well, because I don't think you've also read the book of the that's the movie, too, The Golden Compass, which I haven't seen the movie either, but I remember seeing commercials for it. Or previews or something. I don't watch a lot of commercials. Yeah. Yeah. So Netflix doesn't have those commercials on it. <laughs> no, Netflix says, Oh, are you still mm -hmm. watching? And you're like, Yes. Except for on the Roku. You have to go through every single uh, episode and say play more. Unless um, you know how to get no, around that. I don't think so. But then again, I don't watch a lot on my Roku because I we have I watch Netflix on the smart TV upstairs. Uh, yeah. When I'm knitting and the dog is asleep. Yeah, so I finished that one, and um, I figured I would take a break and um, listen to another book um, on my trip well, back from just, uh, my site. I just can't listen to books, though. Well, when I'm driving, like, even long when distances. I, they, like, put me to sleep. And I read. Like, I like to read. But, <laughs> but... But listening to, like, an audiobook, for some reason, even if it's, like, the most interesting, awesome audiobook ever... I still like fall asleep or it's not that I fall or like I've tried it in the gym and my mind just totally wanders and I'll be listening and I'm like, oh, okay, this is really cool. Oh, this is happening. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen next. Hey, so what do I need to buy at the grocery store later today? Hmm. I think I need to get some more milk. Well, okay. What about this? Blah, blah, blah. blah. And I've missed like half a chapter and then I tune back in and I'm like, what just happened? <laughs> what is going on? And that happens when I'm driving when I listen to them too. So probably not the best idea for me to listen to audio. Yeah, not for you. Yeah, I mean, because I do have an audiobook that I need to listen to or a book I need to read, and I made it through, like, chapter one and for work, and I, I don't know what's going to happen with this. Um, I have to do it, and I think that's what's preventing me from doing it. I really don't <laughs> want to because I read – actually, I listened to the audiobook of chapter one, and I couldn't keep the characters straight because my mind just kept drifting. So. <laughs> and I tried reading it, and it was – yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe that's the reason why. I don't know. I actually bought about. the smart, the Spark Notes or the Cliff Notes too to help me. So maybe I'll just have to read that instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I am not condoning that because I've no, never done anything. Never. Like that. <laughs> well, the other audiobook that I started um, is the Outlander series, so I'm on book one. And yeah. with the stars, I tried reading that one too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started the <laughs> stars um shows, mm -hmm. and I'm not caught up yet, but I did enjoy those. Um, so I figured I was going to read I started, slash listen to the books. Yeah, I started reading up. the first book on my, I think on my Kindle, and was not enjoying it, and actually went out and got a paperback copy of the book and started reading it, and still wasn't enjoying it. Sometimes if I read it on a Kindle, some there are some books that I just need to read, like, in book book form, as I call it, book books. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the fake books. Yes. That are Kindles. And, yes. Um, and I, I like the Kindle and everything, but there are some books that I just have to, like, have the book in my hands to read it and enjoy it. And there are some that it can go, you know, I can read on the Kindle. And I thought that was one of them. And I, I don't think it was, that was the issue with me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I think I'm, like, in chapter six. Of, so. like, 5,000 chapters. Yes. It's really long. Yes, it's nothing like... Well, and the thing uh, is, too, I need I a book know. that, when I read books, a lot of times I need something that I can put down in a moment's notice at work. That I can like, that I'm not like so engrossed in, or I don't have to pay that much attention to. You can probably do that with uh, Once Upon a Time. Maybe. In the Maybe. You could be like, I didn't even grab it. it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so anyway, I'm still um, my book. That's not a book book. It's my <laughs> uh, e-reader book. Yes. Uh, I have not picked up because I just haven't had the time. Delirium, so I'm still in the same yeah. area, so I don't know what's going on yet. See, I'm still in yeah. the same place in Snowflower and the Secret Fan, but that's just because I haven't had time to sit down and yeah. read because there are more pressing matters like spinning and trying to catch up on a few TV shows. Because yes. I caught up on Brim too, but I think you're not in the same season as I am. So. I think I'm still in season one. Yeah, yeah, because I actually just caught up on the most recent episode today that was on this past Friday. So yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's it for it, right? I think so. I well, think thank you uh, for joining us. Oh, for... we wanted to mention what? What? what oh, two, <laughs> obviously, two maybe different things. I don't know. We wanted to mention um, <laughs> that we will have show notes in our blog, and we wanted to mention where, where our blog is, oh, even though it will yeah. be like posted under our video and everything. But um, just in case you don't look at things, um, <laughs> like me, yeah, or me, I don't um, your mind might start wandering. <laughs> um, <laughs> It is to craftystitches.wordpress.com and crafty stitches, the crafty is with a K, because I know we always say two crafty stitches and people probably might, you know, might be looking up with a C, but it's with a K because yes. we're special and awesome that way. Um, and also um, we have a new Twitter, we have a Twitter account under two crafty stitches. So you can keep up with us and what we're doing. I think I'm the only one who's tweeted so far, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, I keep up on my personal Instagram, <laughs> yes. which is Knits and Bits. Yes, and mine is curlygirl75. Um, I think that's it for us for social media. We haven't done a Ravelry group yet. No, we don't know. not yet. We might. Yeah, if when. anybody wants uh, one, you know, <laughs> let us know so we don't make one and we're the only two people in it. <laughs> it's our Ravelry group. It's like our knitting group. I know. Just about, except for us plus Mike. So, yes. which we probably should be going because he is, might be at Panera waiting for us to show up. Oh yeah, he probably. Oh uh, yeah, even though we told him we were running late. But yeah. anyway, what well, can you do? What were you going to go? I, I was going to say. Well, I was starting. Well, oh. thank you for joining oh. us for episode two. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wait, wait, do we have more stuff that we forgot to mention? I'm like, but we're done now. Yes. Okay, so thanks yes. for joining us for episode two. <laughs> yes. And uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Yes. Yes. And hopefully I'll have stuff from Atlanta. I'm Yay. Excited. All right. Yes. So happy crafting. Bye. Bye. <laughs>